Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of DBT series, I'm going to show you how you can create and run DBT snapshots. So when you talk about snapshots, snapshot is nothing but it is a mechanism that will help you in understanding how the data in a table has changed over a period of time. So basically, you know, whenever you want to see historical data, you can actually use, uh, use uh, snapshots. So in case of snapshot, what happens is based on a particular value of timestamp column or a particular set of columns, which you can define, DBT table will actually go ahead and it will check what has changed from the previous run. If anything, any particular row has changed from the previous run, it is going to maintain the history for it. It is going to maintain your valid to valid from for that particular row. That is nothing but that is called as your DBT snapshots. So today we are going to see how we can actually use them and we are going to see how they are very beneficial for us as well. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, as usual, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as to subscribe to my channel in case you guys have not done so. So let's go ahead. And in fact, I'll move on to the project that we have been working on. So uh, in the last video, we discussed about the seeds. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the snapshots. So when we talk about snapshots, you can actually go ahead over here, you can create a new file and you can name your file as let's say snapshot distribution center dot SQL. So oh, earlier we have created a CSV file uh, and we have created seeds.yaml as well, where we were seeing that how you can use your CSV file. Uh, as well to create any kind of table in uh, dbt. So now what I'm going to do is uh, we are going to see how the data in this table is actually captured by the snapshot table and in the snapshot table how changes are also being reflected. Now source can be anything need not be CSV it can be your model as well. Now, uh, when I go to snapshot distribution center dot SQL, so this is the snapshot uh, model that we are going to create, which is actually going to check the changes coming into the uh, seeds table, right? So for this, let me paste the snapshot template over here. So this is how the snapshot template looks like. So if you see, it is exactly the same template. In fact, throughout DBT, we follow same kind of syntax, same macros template, same, same uh, you know, pretty much same Jinja template is what is being followed everywhere. So you can actually see curly brackets percentage symbol snapshot and the name of the snapshot, right? Now, if you go over here, this is the not this is nothing but this is the macro definition through a Jinja template over here for the snapshot inside it what do we do is we define the configuration in the configuration we say that the target schema where i want to target schema is nothing but where i want to write my snapshot table right now this is this is a snapshot table which will be created based on what it will be created based on like we we will give some kind of a primary key for it so the unique id over here is the id column strategy i'm going to talk about in a minute and then over here you can see i'm saying that select id name latitude longitude so if we go to the seeds table that we created in the seeds csv file we had id name latitude and longitude we had this right i am saying that select all of these columns from the source Right. What is the source for me? My source is nothing but it is the look e-commerce distribution center. The this is nothing but this is the actual table which is present in the DBT uh, public data set. So I'm reading from that particular public data set where this data is present, right? Where this particular table is present. So basically, if I go back, in fact, I've shown you guys as well. So let me go to the the look e-commerce data set over here and show you guys how this table is actually present over there so you can actually see that this is the table 
called as the look e-commerce. Here you have this table, the distribution center, right? This is the table that is present over here, which is nothing but the distribution center. So it is going to read ID, name, latitude and longitude and the values from here. If you can see it has ID, name, latitude and longitude and these are the values which are present over here. Now if I go back, so it, it will read all these values and then what it will do, it is going to read this config. In this config it is going to say that hey my target schema where I want to write my snapshot is dbt snapshot, you can name it as anything. And then what is the unique value over here? I am mentioning my unique value as the ID column which is nothing but the primary key. And then what it will do is strategy check. So here what is it is going to do? It is going to check these columns name, latitude and longitude for the pub for this particular unique key which is ID. For each ID it is going to check whether the value of name, latitude, latitude and longitude has changed or not. So that is the meaning of check over here. Now instead of check there is another strategy right there is another strategy which is your timestamp so if you have any timestamp column so not all the tables will have timestamp column if your table has a timestamp column then what it will do it is going to check the value of this id and then it is going to see whether that particular timestamp column has been updated or not if it has been updated then it's a new row or basically then there is an update so that is what exactly is your strategy so even if you go to documentation let me show you this timestamp strategy. So here if you can see the strategy is a timestamp strategy updated at. So it will it will look for this particular ID column. It will check whether this particular ID column has been updated at updated at value has changed or not. If it, it has changed then it is, go, it is going to maintain the history of that particular uh, row. So now if I go back over here so and if you can see over here snapshot distribution center and this is the snapshot this is and you end the snapshot like this so eventually this is again a ginger template how you end it you end a test as well if you have written you know if you have followed my previous videos the custom test or the generic tests also what we have written they follow the same template there is no difference as such in the template wise so now this is exactly how your template for snapshot can be written. Now, how do you run it? So to run a dbt snapshot, you have to actually type in the command dbt snapshot and you have to click enter. What it will do is it will go to your dbt project.yaml file. It will find the, it will check, okay, that your snapshot has been present over here and then it will go to the snapshot and it is going to run your snapshot. Now it is saying that, okay, uh, snapshot my project one centers depends on the source okay it depends on a source which was not found so let us check this particular source why it was not found so for this we will actually go to our staging where we have defined our source file so source ecommerce.yaml file so this is the file where we have defined the database that we are querying which is nothing but our the big query public data and this is the name of the uh, uh, this is the name of the data set that we are querying the look e-commerce and these are the tables so here itself we need to mention the name of the table as this table as well because this is a new table that we are querying and the name of the table is distribution centers right distribution centers and here I'll just hit save and similarly, I will just clear this and I will again run dbt snapshot command to identify how the snapshot is getting created. So now you can see that it has started running. It says found seven model and it also says found one snapshot. So earlier the snapshot was zero, right? Now it has actually started running the snapshot. So you can see, you know, it, say, it says start snapshot and then it has actually run the snapshot as well. So now if I go back to my project, we will see that, let me just simply refresh it, refresh the contents. Now you can see that it has created a new dbt snapshot because all the snapshot tables will be stored separately. And inside my dbt snapshots, what I can actually do, 
you will see that the snapshot distribution center table has been created over here. Now, if I preview it, right? Now, the moment I preview it, you can see that it has all the IDs and then it has something called as valid from and valid to dbt valid from and it also has something called as dbt valid to and dbt updated at and it has some dbt source id as well scd id because it is maintaining scd over here now if you see based on an id now if it sees that for id 8 right any of these values name latitude longitude changes then what it will do is it will update the valid to to the uh, it will update this valid to value and it will add the new record with the id 8 with the new valid from and valid to as null so this is exactly how this work this works so i hope you understood how the snapshot works and how it is actually storing your valid to and valid from as well so i hope you like this particular video and thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos and keep uh, keep you know being connected to me as well so thank you so much for being till here